thank you for all being here this morning as we take a very important step in our great city on public safety, on meaningful and lasting police reform, and on true community policing. I have had the great fortune to spend decades working with and around the Seattle Police Department and our criminal justice system as a criminal defense lawyer, as a chief federal prosecutor, as a community member of a number of blue ribbon panels, and today as mayor. I could not be more proud of where we are today. A city's approach to public safety and criminal justice is one of the most visible expressions of a city's values. Our city is the fastest growing city in America. We have become a big city with big city challenges and big city opportunities. Every day, we ask our police to meet these challenges in a very complex and changing environment. Our next police chief has the responsibility to keep our city safe as we grow, to build a police force for the changing and demanding circumstances of a growing city, to embrace accountability, transparency, and reforms under our consent decree, and to improve and build on community trust in the Seattle Police Department in every corner of our great city. We need a chief who understands that if we want and expect the men and women of SPD to go out every day and protect us, we must give them the tools, the training, and the support they need to do their jobs. At the same time, we need a chief who understands to truly enhance public safety in every part of our city. And to make the job easier for everyone at SPD, we must continue to increase and expand prevention efforts and address the root causes of crime, to give people real opportunity to succeed, to embrace interventions that reduce violence and divert people from the criminal justice system, to ensure accountable law enforcement, and to deeply engage and listen to our communities, our businesses, and our residents throughout this city. The search for our next chief of police incorporated all of these goals, and it meant engaging and listening to voices across this city. More than 3,000 people, 3,000 people from all corners of Seattle were directly involved in the choice of our chief. All three of the chief finalists spoke at a series of seven community meetings across this great city, including one specially for our youth. They also met with the Community Police Commission, the Seattle Police Officers Guild, businesses, Seattle leaders, the city attorney, and the federal monitor on the consent decree. I then got feedback from all those individuals and groups. I heard from our immigrant and refugee neighbors, from families that have been impacted by police violence, from advocates for, for criminal justice reform, for former and current law enforcement officers and prosecutors, from rank and file officers, from business leaders, and from so many in our neighborhoods and our community even in the grocery store and the coffee line. <laughs> I actually love that Seattle never lacks for passionate opinions. And I listened to them all. I studied the background materials. I talked to several other mayors in Seattle and, for, and other mayors across the country. I watched the candidates answer tough questions in community forums and to the media. I thought deeply about what are those qualities and characteristics we need for a great police chief and an excellent police department. I also was able to meet with all of the candidates multiple times and interviewed, not grilled them, <laughs> interviewed them. Interviewed. And based on all of that, based on my experience, I have no question that Chief Carmen Best is the person to lead the police department to the next level in the city of Seattle. She will be our next chief of police. She has earned this through hard work, 
dedication, and service. She will work her heart out, and I believe she will make our city proud. Last December, I chose Chief Best as interim chief because I thought she was the best person for that role. She has a passion for her job, for their officers, and for our city. For 26 years, she has risen through the ranks of the Seattle Police Department, performing roles from patrol on up. She served as deputy chief under Kathy O'Toole and now is interim chief of police. Everyone knows Chief Best and knows she can deliver results. They have seen her lead. They have seen her commitment to police reform, to public safety, and to making sure that we have a department committed to true community policing. As U.S. Attorney, I worked with Carmen Best in a number of roles. I saw her passion, her caring, and her dedication to community and public safety. And what's always struck me about her is her unflagging enthusiasm for her job, her dedication to the city, and her belief that she can and always wants to work for the best police department in America. She knows our city and our officers. She has worked in every neighborhood and understands the unique public safety challenges facing every one of our communities. She has an unparalleled work ethic. You can't keep up with her. Um, above all else, she has three things that I think any chief of police in the city of Seattle must have. A commitment to public safety, a commitment to the hard work of accountability and reform, and a commitment to true community policing. She's not just committed to reforms, she helped get us here and make it real. For years, she has made sure that what we needed to do under the consent decree was not just a checkbox operation, but something that went to the root culture of the Seattle Police Department. She and I have had numerous discussions about the consent decree, the Seattle Police Department, and the future of the Seattle Police Department. Neither one of us is satisfied with the status quo. Both of us want the best police department in the country, and we know that this community and expects and deserves a department that continues to improve and does not just stay in sustainment, but gets even better. Our community also deserves someone who shows they have the ability to build trust and confidence with people throughout this city. And Carmen Best has that ability. She shares my commitment to true community policing, to increasing diversity, and to helping make sure that our officers reflect the community that they serve. In the coming weeks, the City Council will consider the nomination of Chief Best for the permanent role of Chief of Police. I know that many of our council members have known Chief Best for years, and I've spoken with some of them already. She has not just done 26 of years in Seattle from a patrol officer to supervisor to now interim chief. She's done it every day, listening, showing up, and making sure things get done right. I will then now hand it over to the next person that I hope and am confident will be our permanent chief of police, Chief Best. Excited. So I'm not sure what you're anticipating more, uh, the chief, uh, the chief surge, or uh, the response to the lip sync battle. But, <laughs> but we're here. <laughs> uh, first, I want to thank Mayor Durkin uh, for this opportunity. I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, she and I, as she mentioned, share the same public safety vision: uh, moving Seattle forward and making this city the best city for everyone. I'd also like to take this moment to especially thank the men and women, both sworn and civilian, of the Seattle Police Department who serve this city every day with service, pride, and dedication. Trust me when I say the Seattle Police Department is one of the premier agencies in the country, and I look forward to being the chief. I'd also like to thank the community for their unwavering support many of whom are in this room I've worked with for over two and a half decades. I sincerely thank them all. Every day our officers show up 
and are committed to making Seattle a safer city. With our rapid growth comes new challenges for public safety and new demands on policing. Our department needs to reflect our growing city and the community that we serve. This means increasing the number of officers who are working in our communities. Here in Seattle and across the country, our officers are being asked to do more, especially at the complicated intersection of public health and public safety. We must continue to provide support and access to resources to members of our community who are struggling with mental health crisis, addiction, and homelessness. Since 2012, Seattle has been under a court-ordered consent decree for unconstitutional policing. The reforms created a foundation for an accountable police department that serves the public and enhances public safety in a way that is consistent with our community values and the Constitution. We enacted significant reforms. New use of force policies and trainings that emphasize de-escalation, a new approach to how officers interact with people experiencing mental crisis, new supervision and oversight with community involvement, and, and excuse me, and with community involvement and helping to create enhanced trust. There has been a decrease in uses of force overall, including a 60% reduction in the most serious uses of force and a significant decline in force used against people in crisis. Seven months ago in January, Honorable Judge James Robart ruled that the city of Seattle was in full and effective compliance, but we know that the work is not done, not in Seattle and not across our country. As the new police chief, I'll continue to help lead our department through reform. As we enter the next phase of the consent decree, we will move ahead with a culture of continuous improvement and innovation at the Seattle Police Department. This is what I expect. It is what our community deserves. And I know that great things are ahead. Oftentimes when I meet in the community, I've come to find that we have much more in common than we realize. We agree that people need to be treated fairly. We agree that the community trust in the police has to be enhanced. We agree that our department must reflect the communities that we serve. But most importantly, we can't do this alone. We must work together to make this world-class city safe. I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity to serve as a chief of police in this great city. I've said it many times, but it is a city I love, and this is the department that I love. I am committed to safety, equity, unity, and diversity of our city and fair and just treatment for everyone, for everyone who resides in this city.